Look. Well, that's a pretty good flame. I'm gonna read and see how it runs. Oh. It's like a little dancing fairy, wasn't it? Now look how slow that's burning. Yeah, that's crap. Alrighty, we made a batch the other day that had uh, we didn't bother to run it through the screen. We ended up with powder that burns, but it has chunks of sulfur in it. The difference here is uh, we measured out 750 uh, grams of uh, KNO3. We're making a kilogram, approximately, of powder. You never get that much out of it. You put it in there, you have clumps in it. You grind it through a screen, and that gets rid of the clumps, and then anything like the prill that's left in here, it's not all powder. There's never, never seems to get a batch that's pure, pure, purely ground up. Anything left over, we'll dump out, and I'm going to weigh this, and then I'm going to add a little bit more back to it. So you can see that's, that's all ground up, just like that. Okay, we're going to measure out 100, 100 grams. Make sure your thing is on grams and it's zeroed sulfur. I've already made a mess. Says a hundred, right on the money. Okay, that'll work for that, and we're gonna mix it. We're gonna run it through the screen, just like we did the other stuff, the Cano 3. Last time we had all kinds of chunk balled up on it. On it. But this time, no chunks. Okay, now we've got 150 grams of charcoal. We're going to add that to the mix. And that should just go right through it, except it's making a dust all over everything. Because <laughs> I can't stand the mess. Alrighty. We put uh, our mix on our thingamajigger, our mixer, and then we just set it on a slow speed. We mixed it cold this time, which is a first. We ran everything through a screen to make sure that it was small enough. Wait a minute. And I'd like to show you, look at that, there's nothing sticking to it. It dissolved completely. As you can see, it's just as creamy and mixed as it can get. Yeah, there. Now you can see, I had a thing here. Look at this. It's just silky, it's so smooth. Look at that. Always before, we'd mix our stuff, put it in a, in a pan, and start heating it right to start with. This time, we mixed it all cold. And the reason I did that was because I began to notice sulfur will clump up on you. Some of this stuff will clump the minute you start heating it. So, now, move this over here.
and we're going to put it in our pan and we're going to begin heating it. Kind of like to have Spatula. Spatula City. Now, we're going to dump all this. We're going to scrape this, scrape the sides. Get it all down in there. Like that. Then we're going to dump it in here. See how creamy and velvety that is? does not have any chunks in it of any kind. I always lose about 200 grams in the process of making it. So you want to save as much as you can when you make it this way. If you make it dry, you don't have to worry about that. You're not going to lose much. To make it this way, it should be permanently bonded, should be able to store it and it not go bad on you as long as it doesn't get wet. There you go. Just like that. Now that's a pretty good looking batch right there. Now we're going to put the heater on. 3.5. I need to take that out and wash it. I'm going to let that heat. 3.5 should bring it to a, a, a simmer. Okay, now we're going to show you what it looks like. Been heating it for a few minutes at 3.5 on the burner and you see it starting to develop bubbles underneath. And what you do is you heat this until you get it making lots of little bubbles. You don't boil it, not to a full boil, but you bring it to a simmer where it's making little bubbles. And you want to stir it as you're doing that. Look how velvety that is. I have never made a batch that was that smooth but I've never made one where I mixed it cold and then heated it either. We're gonna see how well this works because if it works well a person could mix their stuff their mixture and bottle it and then heat it and finish it later. It's completely harmless as long as it's wet. And we're going to let that, normally I don't use a butter knife to stir it with, it just happened to be handy. Like I said before, as long as it's wet, it's harmless. You couldn't set it off with a blowtorch. That's why this is safer than ball milling. But it does run you through a completely different process. And you have a certain amount of waste. See little bubbles coming up? That's what you want all over it. You'll notice it's kind of swelling up in there. It's higher on the side now than it was. And as soon as that is evenly heated and little bubbles everywhere then we take it out back and do our thing okay we're gonna call that ready 
but I got to move my camera and I'm going to take this off the, or turn the burner off right now because I want to keep it warm until I get it set up. Take my camera outside. We are going to put this in that. And as we do, it's going to bubble over. That's okay. And then, you want to stir vigorously. You want all that broken up in the alcohol. <clears throat> like I say, we lose about 200 grams of it just in the process. Do want that to cool just a hair. Now, get that out of the way. I'm going to do it over this this time. dump this whole thing through our strainer thing. You can see Collinger for spaghetti. Now, we good? I can't tell what I'm looking at. You need two people to do this right, actually. Hot. Mm. Okay. Now you've got to bundle this up and get all the water and the alcohol out. like that. And that is hot, so be careful, don't burn yourself. The quicker you can do it, the better it's going to be, though. Very hot. This quicker. Then we're going to undo it. We're going to put it in uh, as much as we can into the that's what that looks like. There's a few pieces that are hanging on. Now, we get to run this through the sieve. We got a round rock. It was a tool used by Indians for scraping hides, actually. Because what you want to do now is use your screen. See that? See how that's working? And that granulates it. And then you want to dry it as fast as you possibly can. That's why I like to do this on warm days. Once it's dry, it becomes explosive. 
and it could hurt you. Break this up a little. Let's do a small chunk at a time. Notice there's no yellow pieces in any of this, like there was with that last batch. Get this out in the sun. Let this start drying. Nice and hot. All righty then. out and put it in the sun. Turn it over every now and then. Keep it drying. Clumps like that don't dry very fast. You see there's just very little sparkle in it now. That's going to be some good stuff. Okay, we're putting the powder up. Let's see. You don't really see a lot of uh, sparkles in this. That's because it's absorbed into the, uh, all the chemicals are absorbed correctly. We're going to put it in a jar and we're going to do a burn test here in a second. I hate wasting it when it's that good for sure. This is a burn test of batch 17. That's a one foot mark right there and we put it in the video, we edit it, we can slow it down and we can see just how fast it is. And the faster the better. Is that fast enough for you? around and ruin another lighter, ain't it? 